Welcome. In today's special stretches inspired by Dylan Werner, we're focusing on the superficial back line and the deep back arm lines. We'll start in all fours and we'll find a cat pose. Tuck your toes under and press all knuckles down and the root of the thumbs down while rounding your spine. Bring your chin all the way in and keep pressing the mat down to round your back. Just like the previous time, we're holding each pose for eight diaphragmatic breaths. To increase the stretch, you can start moving back. Then keep the arms straight and keep pushing down to all the knuckles and to the roots of the thumbs. Three more deep breaths into your lower belly. Keep your chin in, keep widening the shoulder blades while elevating the statue. Breathing. Now you come to a low squat. So press your heels down and keep pressing knuckles and roots of the thumbs down as you're pushing back for eight diaphragmatic breaths. Relax your face, relax your jaws, relax your eyebrows, and keep your chin in. Stretch the whole superficial back line of the upper body. Three more deep breaths, keep pressing the heels into the ground. Now we'll move to a narrow downward facing dog position. So press the heels down, straighten the legs, and keep pressing the hips back. Keep the chin onto your chest, and keep the lower belly in and towards your chest. Pressing the inner hand and the outer hands down, elevate the scapula, externally rotate the arms, so bring the inner elbows forward. Three more breaths, press your inner feet and your outer feet down. You can even spread the toes, so lift the toes and spread them out. Keep pressing the heels down and lock the knees back. We don't usually say lock the knees, but for the purpose of stretching the fascia, that's a good indication. Brilliant, we'll come to a normal down dog. So bring your heels back and you want the heels to keep pressing down onto the ground. So come as wide as possible while the heels don't lose touch with the ground. Eight deep breaths here. Keep widening the shoulder blades, keep bringing the eyes of the elbows forward, and keep pressing roots of the thumbs down, all knuckles down. Keep your lower belly in and keep the chin on the chest. Brilliant, walk the feet in and let's come to a rack doll. Keep the feet, keep distance apart. Again, you can lock the knees to stretch the back of the legs and then hug opposite elbows. Just let the head hang for a bit. Find the big toe mound of the feet, press it down. Find pinky toe mounds of the feet, press them down. And then find the center of the heels, press them down. That will allow the pelvis to tilt and the belly to come in.
keep the wicks closed. And then let's bend the knees to roll all the way up. Now I will not roll all the way up because you will not be able to see my beautiful face. Next exercise, it's quite similar actually. So you'll interlace the fingers behind the head and this time you'll ground the back and place the elbows to the knees or to the thighs. You can start with the knees bent. Make sure your chin comes all the way in. You'll feel the stretch at the back of the neck. And you might even feel the stretch on your forehead. This time you can start straightening the legs. And keep the shoulder blades wide and down the back towards the lower back. Press the inner feet, outer feet and center of the heels down. Bring the tailbone up like a happy dog, but then bring navel in and towards the chest, close the ribs and round back. Three more deep breaths here. Keep pressing the feet down. Four, two. And one. Bend the knees and carefully come back up. And then let's come to a sit. Straighten your legs. We'll do a round back forward fold from a seated position. It's important to keep pressing the heels away from you and maybe into the ground to contract the front of the legs. You want to contract the opposite side of the body than the part that you're stretching. Extend your arms out, press away through the palms and pull back through the fingers. Bring your chin in and again, start rolling with the intention of bringing the crown of the head to the top of the thighs. Keep pressing away through the palms, keep pressing away through the feet and keep bringing fingertips back and toes back. Five more diaphragmatic breaths here. Keep the legs active, so keep pressing away through the heels, pressing away through the balls of the feet, and that will engage the thighs, so contract your thighs, contract your quads. Four, three, Keep the shoulder blades down. Keep pressing our way through the palms, back through the fingers. And one more deep breath. Now it's important to come out of it as slowly as you go into it. And then stack your right leg on top of the left leg. Keep the feet flex. Keep the legs straight. We have right leg on top, so we'll bring the left elbow on top. So bend your arm and bring your hand to your t-shirt. Then bring your right hand back. Maybe grab the hands together or grab on the t-shirt. Keep pressing heels away from you. Keep pressing balls of the feet away from you. Bring the navel in and up. Close the ribs and start lifting the elbow towards the right toes. Breathe deeply. Make sure your legs are straight. Keep pressing away through the heels. Contract your thighs. And keep bringing the Left elbow forward, the chin onto the chest. Two more deep breaths. Keep the legs active, keep the toes spread. 
feet flat. Again, come out of it slowly. Release the arms with control and switch the legs. Left leg on top, flex the feet. Keep the shoulder blades down. Bring the right arm on top. And again, either grab the t-shirt, use a strap or interlace the fingertips together. Bring the shoulder blades down, navel in. Again, start rolling, leading the crown of the head to the shin, to the knee, to the thigh. Flexing the feet, keep the legs straight, and you'll feel the stretch at the back of the legs. It's important to keep contracting the tops of the legs. Keep pulling forward through the right elbow. Three more deep breaths. Again, come out of it slowly. And then lie down on your back. Flex the feet, straighten the legs. We'll push the palms out again, this time diagonally. And then bring the right leg up, it doesn't matter where it goes. Keep pressing away through the heels, away through the balls of both feet. Keep the feet flexed. The left leg is grounded. Make sure that it's straight. And then bring the chin up and start rolling towards the leg. Keep pressing away through the palms. Keep bringing the fingers back. See if the leg wants to come closer to the head. Keep bleeding the shoulder blades down. Keep both feet flexed. Five more breaths here. There's a lot of core action going on. Keep the belly in and up. Keep the ribs closed. Keep pressing away through the heels. Two. Stay with it. And gently come down, release for a second. And then press away through the right heel, press the right heel onto the ground to activate the right thigh and bring the left leg up, press away through the heel, press away through the ball of the feet, spread the toes and then push away through the palms, bring short blades down, bring chin in, start leading the crown of the head towards the thigh again. For eight deep breaths. Keep the fingers spread, keep pressing away through the palms, keep the shoulder blades down. Three more breaths. Keep pressing away through the heels. Your legs must be shaking. <laughs> down slowly, bring your knees to your chest, press the lower back down, then open up the legs, again flex the feet, let's come to a happy baby pose, give the, sh the chin to the chest, keep the feet flexed, all the way 
straight down to the sacrum. And then slowly bring the soles of the feet to the ground, press the feet down and bring the hips up for a bridge pose to counter. Press the heels down, move the knees away from you, bring the chest up, bring the chest to your chin. And then come down slowly in your upper back, kneel back and lower back to the ground. Straighten your legs, find a comfortable relaxation pose and take your time there. Take as much time as you need in your relaxation position keep practicing consistency will make everything make sense consistency will make you so much better